Hey guys, welcome to my video. So this is a pretty old motor uh, I built quite some time ago. I did um, a lot of videos on it back when I started YouTube a couple years ago. Um, I don't even remember how many turns on it, but it's pretty massive. And um, it has on each side, it has a trigger wire, a power wire, and then a secondary output wire. And in this experiment, I'm not using the secondary. So, um, it's all starboard and has um, two huge neodymium magnets in it. So it's actually, uh, if you only use one polarity, you're like one pulse per revolution. Um, but we're using this bipolar switch, so now I could get two pulses per revolution um, on the opposite polarity. And then because we're using NPN and PNP on each side, um, it completely isolates the coil. So instead of using this, which is a little bit less efficient, uh, we're going right off the output. Uh, has a full bridge rectifier off the main coil and then into my little cap dump to 30 volts and we got a 24 volt battery and um, this isn't really your typical circuit um, this is what most people are used to just a single and you can dial it in real nice with the pot well this one you can't really do that you gotta kinda set things um, up and then just um, I made it to where I could change out resistors and things like that so you just got to kind of work with it until it gets how you want it but um, but it provides a lot of power and, and bipolar switching which gives the motor quite a bit more power so yeah so I got 24 volts and then it just splits off into input and then the output goes right back into the input so um, loop back like so many of you like so and then this is just one of my cap dumps. It's two ten thousands, and um, yeah, pretty simple layout. So I'm just gonna start this thing up. So we just want to give it a little spin, and then it takes off. It's got quite a bit of torque, and it surges up to um, three when you first start it. And it comes back down. So if you look at the waveform, you have this is one polarity. This is the other polarity. And you can see the little spikes coming off them as the capacitor is charging. So, pretty cool. So, yeah, and then as we come around here, you can see the cap dumps running every time this blinks. And then on our input, it's just pulsing back every time the cap dump does. So, pretty neat little thing. I and mean, obviously, the battery still goes down, but. It definitely slows it down quite a bit. Here, let's put this back up here. So, yeah. This kind of goes up and down a little bit, but definitely conserves at least 25 to 35%. And uh, running a pretty big load, and this thing still, still has a lot of torque. <laughs> so, massive torquey thing <laughs> so it's got big coils like the the Newman that's kind of set up like a Bedini window motor um, if I had to modify it I would definitely put more magnets on the rotor so instead of two polarities you'd have six or twelve that way you, you know you get more pulses per revolution because this is a pretty pretty big on time so as you look at it this is the on time right here so down, up, and then you just have this little tiny part of it. That's what's charging the, the cap down. So, yeah, pretty cool. And um, this is just the regular Bedini bipolar circuit you can find on the internet. Uh, I just use little 2N222s instead of the MSP ones. And um, you have to have um, two trigger wires. So I use one from this coil and one from this coil. Uh, to switch it bipolar, so yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing. And then the full bridge rectifier, which comes straight off the main coil, and then able to loop it back without burning up wires and stuff like that, like the traditional route. Because if you did that with this one, it would just burn up the amp meter. Or, um, usually melts the switch off. So yeah, pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments.